horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early days of the western United States. His strength and courage were always on the side of right against might. No man could match his daring and resourcefulness, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days when the West was young. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. With his features set in an expression of grim cruelty, Hawk Slade closed the door of his ranch house and made his way across the dusty yard toward the bunkhouse beyond. It was night. The bulk of his crew had returned from their duties out on the range. In the bunkhouse, their conversation was loud and jovial. But at the entrance of their employer, they suddenly fell silent. Hawk surveyed them silently for a long moment before he fixed his stare upon a slender, youthful cowboy standing just outside the circle of lamplight. You, come here. Me, Mr. Slade? That's what I said, come here. Yeah? You hired on here a month ago. That's right. When you come here, you said your name was Jack Burton. Well, I... Well, well I... You did. Well, look, Mr. Slade, there's a lot of fellas got reasons for not telling the right name. Your handle's Brad Whitman. Hey, you well, low-down I... skunk, you come here to spy on us. Oh, wait. You're Jeff Whitman's grandson. And he planted you here to find out our plans. Wait, Mr. Slade, listen. Is it... <gasps> All right. If you don't like it, go for your gun. And your place in here with, with your crew to back you up? <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Hawk. If you aim to drill me, you'll have to do it cold. I ain't going to help you make it look like self-defense. Yelly coyote. I ain't going up against these odds. What gave you the idea you could come here and get away with a stunt like this? How did you find out about me? In town. Hmm? A fellow there from up north recognized you. Told the barkeep, the barkeep told me. Oh. If that cause you wasn't raised in these parts, nobody would know you, huh? Maybe. Well... Seeing as you know who I am, I reckon you won't be caring about paying me wages no more, huh? Jake, if you'll just push my bedroll over this way. Just a second. Hmm? Figure you was leaving? <laughs> no use my staying on now, is there? 
You must think I'm a fool. What I think of you is my business. You come here and hire out under a fake name. You work for me for a month. You get a chance to poke around and find out things without nobody thinking it's suspicious. <laughs> and now you got the notion after all that. I'm going to just let you right out of here to tell Jeff what you found out. What do you mean? I mean, whatever you've learned, it ain't going to do Jeff no good. You saying I can't leave? That's just what I'm saying. You're keeping me prisoner? Either that... Hmm? Or planting you three feet under. Why, you... Let the boys time up. Let go of me! Let go of me! At that same moment, several miles from Hawk's Ranch, a masked man astride a great white stallion and an Indian mounted on a powerful paint approached the ranch house of Jeff Whitman. There's Jeff Whitman's place, Tonto. Uh, had to tell him it's this time of night. It looks as if it had pretty well gone to seed. Uh, look, he bad. That barn sagged much more, it would fall in. Mm. That corral hasn't been repaired for months. What matter here? I can give you the answer to that, Kimasabi, in just two words. Hawk Slade. Uh-huh. Two years ago, when I was through here last, Whitman's Ranch was the show place of the county. Uh, can't remember. Fine, fat cattle, rich grain fields, splendid buildings, the best of equipment. He had them all. Uh, it's gone now. Most of it. And from what I've been told, if things continue as they have been... What remains won't last long. Oh, that'd be bad. You see, Tonto, Jeff Whitman was the first rancher to enter this valley. For years, his cattle had the entire valley to themselves. Ah. And like so many others of his type, Jeff didn't recognize the signs of changing times. What happened? The worst was when the homestead laws were passed. Ah. Jeff didn't think they affected him until Hawk arrived. Mm, what him do? His men filed on the best parts of the valley. Ah. Me savvy. And when Jeff tried to fight back, he found that the law was against him. Ah. Uh-uh. Of course, if it had been anyone beside Hawk who filed on the land, Jeff could most likely have gotten along with him. But Hawk came here determined to get the valley for himself. Ah. Uh-huh. I've got an idea. What do you think? That in the process, Hawk has gone too far. That he's been too impatient. That he's not hesitated to step outside the law. Uh, him crook. Yes. You help, Jeff? I'd like to. I'd hate to see him go under. He's the kind of man the West needs. Hawk's kind. The West would be better without. Ah. They're out. Yes, pull up, Tonto. We'll stop here. If they heard us, they might mistake us for their enemies. Oh, Silver. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Tonto, I think that's Jeff you see through the window there. Come. We'll leave the horses where they are. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto dismounted and quietly approached on foot, the elderly rancher, Jeff Whitman, paced back and forth in the darkness. Uh, can't see a thing out there. I don't know why Brad don't signal. But this time, he ought to be... See anything from the kitchen window, Libby? Yes, there's nothing. Uh, can't figure it. Do you think they might... Uh, Hawk might... Uh, I mean... Might have caught him? Yes. It ain't easy to say... I don't know how they could, but most anything could happen. Brad's been playing a mighty dangerous game. Too dangerous. Uh huh. But the trouble is, I never even knew the boy was in these parts till he come here that night and said he'd heard about the fix I was in. Said he'd got a job with Hawk under another name and he'd report anything Hawk schemed. I couldn't talk him out of it. That's it, Jeff. Maybe, uh, maybe Hawk hasn't planned anything yet. Maybe there isn't any news. You know, Brad told you he wouldn't light the signal fire unless he really had something to tell. Yes, but... But what, Jeff? Last time I seen him, he was almighty sure he would have something to tell tonight. You recollect how he put it? Well, I... Said to keep our eyes glued to the north. And the minute we seen a light over there, I was to saddle and make dust for Grizzly Gulch. He'd meet me there. Well, now there ain't no signal. I'm afraid... Wait, Jeff. 
Listen. Eh? I heard a horse stopping. Say, you think it maybe... It might be Brad, Jeff. He might have ridden over here. I'll get it. Brad, get in here. Oh, Mr. Whitman, you don't know me. I but... know you. Well, I want Your to... handle's Sandy Simpson. No, wait a minute. And you work for Hawk Slade. Stick up your hands. Jeff, don't... I'll Mr. Get... Whitman, just let me talk, can't you? Let me talk. Talk. That's what I'm waiting for. My handle is Sandy. And I did work for Hawk. But I don't know more. <laughs> Look, Mr. Whitman, I come here a stranger. I hit this valley from the west. I need the job. And the first place I come to was Hawk's. He gave me one. How was I to know then what was going on here? I don't know. How was you? Hey, ain't you going to give me a chance to explain? I ain't stopping you. But you ain't believing the word I'm saying. I don't see no medal on you proving you always tell the truth. Mr. Whitman, I come here hoping you'd give me a job. I come here because I found out just what kind of a snake I was working for. I was hoping I'd get a chance to use my guns again. Uh, you won't believe me, and I don't know as I blame you. I've been hearing things. I know what you've had to put up with. You're wasting my time. You better get... Oh, I ain't finished. You've had to put up with plenty. Every double-crossing deal Hawk's been able to think of. But you'll believe this. Yeah? Hawk found out Brad got a job on his place just to spy on him. Oh, no. What's that? In the bunkhouse tonight. I was there. Hawk came in and told Brad he'd found him out. They jumped Brad. They got him tied up. Oh, Jeff. You telling this straight? I am, Mr. Whitman, I am. They got Brad prisoner in that shanty this side of Bullhide Creek. They're keeping him there till just before sunup. Go on. And then... And then they're taking him to Echo Canyon. They'll make it look like his horse slipped and went over the side. They're going to murder him. Quiet, Libby. Sandy. Yeah? I take back anything I was thinking about you. Brad's my grandson. I think more of that boy... Well, right now, that don't count. You meant what you said about working for me? Just say so, Mr. Whitman, and I'm on your side from this second on. Then load up your gun. You mean that I can... We're riding. Come on, old fellow. Get him up, Scott. Head over west, Tano. Ah. Bull Hyde Creek's beyond that woods. Come on, boy. Get him up, Scott. Head him up. Hurry, old fellow. Hurry. Side by side, the two great horses thundered through the night as the Lone Ranger and Tonto bent low over their saddles, urged them to greater speed. Then, finally... Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, oh, look out. Oh, Tonto. Oh, 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 oh. There, oh. there, Tonto. Through those trees. That's the cabin. Ah, uh, me see him. They'll have it guarded. Ah. Uh, You'll circle and draw their attention. Stay out of gunshot. As soon as you get in the open, start firing in the air. Ah, uh, Tonto, do it. It'll give me a chance to break through to Brad. When I hear your shots, I'll start. All right, Kimasabi, get going. Uh, get him up, Scout. Get him up. Steady, Silver. Steady. I see him, old fellow. All right, Silver. Now, come on, come on, old fellow. Hurry, boy. Come on. Oh, oh, there, Silver. Oh, boy. Hold it, hold. Get back! Watch out! Don't rush him! Hold back, fellas! Pick him off from here! Hey, Fred! Hello in there! Stand aside! I'm shooting off this lock! Stand aside! Are you in here, Brad? Where are you? Brad, speak up! Dark. Too dark to see. Brad, they got your gag? Mass man. That's you, Hawk? Mass man. Well? You listen? I am. That you better know something now that you busted in there. Yes? You're too late. Brad was took out of there an hour ago. You mean? But you're inside. We've got you surrounded. Now just try and get out. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
Now to continue our story. Old Jeff Whitman and Sandy Simpson, riding toward the shanty where Brad had been reported held prisoner, were checked by the sound of gunfire. Boss, there's fighting ahead. We better pull up till we know what's going on. Whoa there, Ron. Whoa, whoa there, whoa. Whoa there. Hey, look. What, what do you see? I just seen him at the door of that shanty for a second when he's gun flashed. There's a masked man in there. Sandy, what's happened? Well, don't ask me. All I know is... Sir? Somebody spoiled things. And you better reach. Hey, what? One move, you old goat, and I'll let you have it. What's the matter? Careful. Double-crossed me. <laughs> Fell for it, too, didn't you? See that masked gent in there? I'll fix Well, you. that's where you were supposed to be. You'd have been on Hawk's land breaking into his property. He could have shot you down and the law couldn't have said one word. You skunk. The masked man got ahead of us, but he'll pay for it. And I ain't so sure we still can't make it look like you was drilled when you come here to make trouble. Where's Brad? Where have you coyotes got my grandson? (laughs) You're just trying to find out, huh? Now get moving. Where is he? I'm turning you over to Hawk. He can decide what to do with you. Go on, mister. Straight ahead. I'll get you in. What the? Hey. You drop gun. A redskin. Where'd you come from? White friend in cabin. Hunter, to try find way safe. You mean that? Take it. Oh, my hand. Who planted them trees? Who yelled just that? Come on, Injun. Those coyotes will be coming here. We better hightail. Oh, you wait. But we better wait, get fella. a... Him crook. Sure, he's one of them, but why stay You tell Hawk, we got this fella. Tell Hawk, let masked man go, we let this fella go. Exchange the one for the other? Uh. Injun, that's a doggone good idea. You, and you, mister, you better shut up. Hawk, stop right where you are. Hold up, or a polecat working for you called Sandy eats lead. Right up, then. Oh, 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 oh. That's you, Jeff? It's me. This is a trick of some trick, Hawk. You'd like to tell you I'm done for. Hawk, I'll make a deal with you. What do you mean? Let the masked man safe out of that cavern, and we'll turn Sandy here loose. If you don't, well, you can say goodbye to one of your hired gun hands. In a deal? You got to do it, Hawk. They mean what they say. You got to. Yes. Yeah. yeah? It's a deal. <laughs> Hawk Slade had no other choice. After a short consultation, the hired gunman Sandy was released. And a few moments later, the Lone Ranger was free to join Tonto and Jeff Whitman. Oh, hold this over. Oh, boy. Hold it. Oh, that was quick thinking, Jeff. Don't thank me, masked man. Thank your part here. It was his idea. So I owe you my life again, huh, Tonto? Oh, you saved Tonto many times. Which doesn't change the fact that those fellas had me just about where they wanted me. I won't forget that, Kimosabe. All right. Where'd they go? They headed for the home ranch. Look, stranger. Yes? I don't know anything about you. That mask you're wearing says you're a crook. But if you are, I ain't asking no questions. Tonto got me out of a bad spot. You risked your life to break into that shanty because you figured Brad was there. I came to this district to help you. You did? But now isn't the time to discuss that. This was a trick to get you here and take your life if possible. Uh Uh-huh. But we do know Brad's in trouble because we know they've learned his identity. Stranger, you, you don't think... That they've already finished, Brad? Yeah. I don't know. I... But now's the time to find out. Tonto, you and Jeff follow me. Uh, stranger, lead the way. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scott. Get up. Get up. I'll Silver. Away. The failure of his plan to capture Jeff Whitman and the interference of the Lone Ranger enraged Hawk Slade. After venting his anger on his gunman, Sandy, he subsided into sullen silence. Finally, Sandy gathered courage and... Say, Hawk. Well... He was pretty rough with me in front of the boys just now. You think it was my fault things went wrong with your scheme? You must have done something to give it away. But I didn't, Hawk. I swear I didn't. I never seen nobody. Never opened my mouth till I got to Whitman's place. And how'd the mass man find out? I don't know. Well, nothing to be done about it now, I reckon. Forget it. Yeah. Say, what about Brad Whitman? Do anything with him yet? No. Why not? Because old Jeff Ray's cane till he finds him. And if he finds him dead... A murder charge? Yes, sir. Then you're going to keep him prisoner? You ain't going to finish him off? He'll be took care of. But you just said that you... I wouldn't now. I won't. Not till Jeff's quit asking questions about where Brad disappeared to. 
After that, he'll be safe. But between now and then, yeah. what if he's located? <laughs> he won't be. Where I've got that hombre hid away, won't nobody find him. Hey, what are you fellas poking along for? You've got to get back. Come on, now. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Jeff Whitman's ranch house, the elderly rancher, his wife, and the Lone Ranger worked feverishly on the masked man's plan to rescue Brad Whitman. That's everything. Red check shirt, bandana, and boots. What do you want to come back to the house for, a masked man? What do you want with these duds? You'll learn that later. These are identical with the outfit Brad wore? Oh, yes. I know they are because I tried to give Brad these, but he said he wouldn't need them. Good. Anything else you want, stranger? Yes. Just name it. How many men have you on the place? Uh, Not near as many as I used to. About seven. Which one is closest to Brad in looks and build? Huh? Why, Jeff, that would be Sam. Yeah, Yeah, I reckon it would. Send for him. Right now? This time of night? Yes. We should reach Hawk's place just after dawn. But I don't see what you... Get him, Jeff. Eh? And then I'll explain exactly what I have in mind. Jeff, you stay right there. I'll call the boy myself. early morning and four horsemen quietly reined in their mounts a short distance from Hawkslade Grand House. All right, Jeff. There's Hawk's place. You and Sam will stay here. Tato and I will get in position. Keep to cover until you get my signal. Understand? You bet we do. Fine. Tato, we'll ride up that arroyo. We'll leave our horses there and approach the house on foot. Uh. Come. Get him up, Scout. Come on, Silver. In the ranch house, the unsuspecting Hawk Slade busied himself formulating a new plan to bring Jeff Whitman to terms. His thought was broken by the closing of a door, and... <laughs> i seen him, Hawk. He'll keep. That's a right good place you picked out to hide him in. <laughs> you think anybody would get the news you're looking for him in the root cellar? Huh? Shucks, with all that canvas dropped over it, they wouldn't even know it was there. You put him back like you found him, did you? Sure. Sit down. Uh-huh. Sandy, I got an idea. Yeah, what's that? You give it to me when you told what Jeff said. Hmm? Huh? You said he felt a heap of a kid. Oh, sure he does. You could tell it. <laughs> Then we won't only boss this valley, but we'll have the whole thing to ourselves. How? We'll make it trade like Jeff and that engine did for the mass man. I ain't sure I savvy. Brad, for Jeff's ranch. Say. <laughs> what do you think? Boss, it at work. I know it at work. Why, Jeff's place ain't worth any part of what it was before you come here. Thinking what he does of Brad, he'd give it up in a second if it was to save the kid's life. Well, he... Shucks, it wouldn't work after all. Why not? Then Brad would be free to go to the law. With what he learned when he was working for you, ain't a one of us wouldn't swing. What if he didn't go to the law? He would, all right. (laughs) I guess I didn't make it plain enough. You see, what I really meant was to make Jeff trade his ranch for a promise to let Brad go. For a... (laughs) Oh, now I get it. And when Jeff's made over the place to you... He can go whistle. I'll fix it so as he can't prove a thing. Come on, Brad. It's right for... Well, what the... Come on now. Yell, Brad. That was Jeff. I... Hey, look there. That is Brad. Look at him right for them woods. But how would he do that? You double-crossing child. You... No. What did I know where Brad was hid, did you? What did they have a look at him, huh? You pull cat. You fixed it for Jeff to get him loose. I didn't, Hawk. Honest, I didn't. Don't hit me again. Everything was all right when I left. You're coming with me. Oh, let go, Hawk. Let go. Get outside there. Hawk, please. I sent you to Jeff's place last night. Right afterwards, the masked man comes busting in to spoil me. Oh, wait. Get along before I, I give you a boot the pants to help you. No. And today you go out to see Brad. Now he's gone. Hawk, I don't know anything about it. I swear. It. But honest, I don't know anything about it. Oh. Here's a canvas. 
They put them back like they was. Pull them aside. What for, Hawk? If Brad's gone, what difference does it make? I don't... do like I say. I'll do it, Hawk. Don't hit me again. Don't hit me. You see, Sandy? Huh? You're going where Brad was. You were staying down there to think over what you get for double-crossing me. No, Hawk, please, no. Don't you get can... up, Hawk. The yeah. masked man and the engine. What... That's right. Reach and keep reaching. Well, you... And thanks for showing us where Brad's hidden. Tanner, take those stones off the door and bring them out. Uh-huh. Hawk will do it. <laughs> Too late again, masked man. Had a habit with you. Too late? <laughs> Told you he was too late back at the cabin. Brad was gone. Well, he's left again. If you'd had your eyes open, you'd have seen him right off just about three minutes ago. He and Jeff. He and Jeff. What in tarnation of... Hell, low down pole, Jeff. Take me prisoner, will you? <clears throat> That'll be enough of that, Brad. He'll not deal with this fellow. The law will. But he Don't had... hit him again. Brad, you... He was in the red all the time. You... Sure he was, Hawk. The fellow you figured was Brad was Sam here, dressed to look like him. Well, I'll be... I tried to tell you I hadn't double-crossed your hawk, but you wouldn't listen. It's just what you get. Save the talk for your trials. The crew, Jeff. <laughs> Got them barred inside their bunkhouse like pigs in a pen. Then they'll all face the law. And with what I know about them skunks, they'll be lucky if every one of them don't hang. You can handle these two, Jeff. Handle them, mister. We sure can. Only you use the wrong word. Yes? We'll handle and manhandle the coyotes. Brad, give me some help here. We'll tie these critters up. I sure will. Look, Jeff, can't we talk this over? Can't we do Sure we can, Hawk. But uh, when we do, you'll say your piece from inside a cell. Come on, Silver. Hit him on scout. I'll Silver. Away! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. <laughs>